the 2026 FIFA World Cup logo done dropped, and I got mixed goddamn feelings about it because y'all know it's gonna be in my home country of old us of a united states of america you best believe i want us to be the greatest host that we can be i want everything about our world cup to be nostalgic great football all of that memorable all of that because them boys over there in qatar over there in Qatar, they just had them a World Cup. They just had them a majestic at World Cup. I know people came into it, you know, um, because of the human rights conditions and the, and the stadium workers and all of that. But aside from those downfalls and drawbacks, the actual game, the game playing, like the song that down, now, now, now. Just nostalgia, man. Y'all know it was my first World Cup. I started watching football about two years ago. The old Lionel Argentina won that hold the arguably the greatest finals um, World Cup game in, in, in FIFA history so i want them type vibes for our world cup for my world cup 2026 like this is my world cup bro i want it to be great get on twitter one day i see this bullshit a 26 with a photoshopped picture of the world cup trophy on that hoe somebody got paid a hundred thousand dollars to design this goddamn logo. I done been in a couple of graphic design classes back in my day, back in college. Texas A&M University, I have taught all this plenty of times. This is not no adequate ass logo to be, to, 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 to pioneer a World Cup. What the hell is this? People have made their own designs. Look at this design. It took the same design, but it took the Canadian flag, the American flag, the Mexican flag, and put it behind it. And it looks that much better, albeit it still looks kind of ass, but it looks better than the original, the little black and white plain ass logo that they got going on right here. Albeit, here goes some of the past World Cup logos on the screen right here from the past eight World Cups. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of the World Cup logos, like I have no nostalgia nostalgia uh link to these logos and nothing like that a lot of these are ass the whole bottom row is ass 94 ass france 98 ass 2002 a actually 2002 is kind of adequate 2006 germany ass 2010 south africa ass brazil now that looks good the brazil world cup logo looks the best no that russian one looks good too the little russian decor the, the you know you know what i'm saying the qatar is simple but it works you got the little qatarian little ribbon mascot thing going on it works so basically brazil came out with the blueprint of just making the design around a trophy and russia followed it qatar followed it and we said nah we're gonna break that blueprint and we gonna come out with this bullshit right here they could have easily made it look better if they would have took this photoshopped ass picture of the trophy and made like a vector image of it. Y'all get what I'm saying by vector? Like draw it out. I seen somebody put a, a reference photo of what they meant, but I got to try and find that hoe again. All right, so I can't find the fan made picture with the vectorized World Cup trophy, but it actually made the logo look better. Now look at this logo right here. This is a competent ass. Beautiful ass 2026 World Cup logo that shares the culture of America, Mexico, and Canada. You got the little ass check in head design right here. Then you got the American flag. Then you got the Canadian base. United 2016 Mexico, United States, Canada. Tough right here, bro. Why is this not the logo right here? This dead ass looks better than all the previous World Cup logos in the past eight years that I showed you on that screen. Why must we these days just go for the simplistic, basic, monotonous look? Like, you know what I'm saying? I know it's in style that simple is better, simple is good, but what I learned in graphic design, like minimalistic is good, but it has to be legible. This is not even legible. You can't even tell it's a 2-6. You can barely even tell this is a this says 26 in the background. Now, peep at the beginning of the video, I did indeed say that I had mixed feelings about it. You heard my negative opinions on it, but I ran across a video and it showed like the conceptual things that they was just just look at the video. Look at the video with me. You see what they doing with it? See what they doing with it? I rock with the tune too. I, I rock with the new World Cup tune. See what they doing with it each city has their own like damn each city has their own customized logo itself so for the games that each city is hosting 
it's all going to have this same theme of the, you know, of the CD and the logos and stuff together. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Now, when you see this right here, I say, okay, okay, now I see why they went with the minimalistic design so they can give each city their own creative spin to it. Now, when you put it like that, I say, okay, now that's, now that's kind of genius. And the trophy looks way better because it's actually moving. That whole is spinning. The spinning trophy look way better than the just plaster image right there. Of course, it's not gonna be spinning on TV. Like when it's at like the bottom or the top of the screen, wherever they gonna come up be. It looks way better on this video, of course, because like, you know, they doing all these graphic design and effects. But conceptually, I understand why they went with this type of logo. If a game is in Guadalajara, this is gonna be the logo right here. That hook will be like at the top of the screen. I'm pretty sure with these designs in the back, correct me if I'm wrong, if it's just a plain color design, I don't really care for it. We need the designs in the back. If it's in Houston, the logo go look like this. If it's in Kansas City, it's gonna look like that. Where Dallas said, if it's in Dallas, when the game's in Dallas, logo look, go look like that. I think that's a W right there. That's pretty creative. For the final, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get his own little special logo right there. Let me know in the comments what y'all feel about the logo. Like I said, I had mixed feelings. Plainly, just like like that, that's ash as hell. Especially, it don't even pass the far away test, but the colors and the design idea, that's a W, and the song is a W, too. The song got a good vibe to it, bro. This got nostalgia capabilities. The song tough. Yup, I like the song. Let me know that in the comments what y'all think about the song too. I think this screams a good time. I think this people gonna look back at it and be like, y'all remember that uh 2026 World Cup song? I like it. Good vibes right there. But yeah, like I said down in the comments, let me know what y'all think about the um new world cup logo 2026. They talking about some diverse, unique, and timeless. It's definitely not timeless. Come on, FIFA. I'm out.